Muffins, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, you guys have asked a bajillion times to do an everyday makeup routine. Um, and I haven't done it because I'm not a professional makeup artist and I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. Um, however, since you asked, here we go. I'll answer your command. It's like a genie, uh, wish in a bottle type thing. So that didn't really make too much sense, but regardless, here we go. My everyday makeup routine. <laughs> Right now, before I even get started with this video, you guys, I just want to preface it by saying I'm not a makeup artist, not even close, but um, here we go, the completely unprofessional tutorial on how I beat my face. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we got nothing on my face here, yikes. Um, I do have eyelash extensions though, so those are on. Um, however, I do those myself, so I'll show you a little tutorial on those um, in the next few days when I have a chance to film it. So I wash my face, clean it off, and then I get started with some skincare. All right, so the first thing I do is put on some sunscreen because I don't want to get wrinkles. Um, so this is Mario Badescu um, Oil-Free Moisturizer, and I will literally just rub that all over my face. No rhymer reason um just put it all over next i use primer um because that helps everything stay on all day i use dr brandt um pore refiner primer it's great um it just gets rid of well it doesn't get rid of your pores but it gets rid of the appearance of pores anyway so again just rub that in all over <laughs> ah Am I pretty yet? Then I will do my foundation. I use Makeup Forever foundation stick from Sephora. It's actually really pricey. It's like 50 bucks for this little thing. I'll just put this on my face with a damp beauty blender. Um, you can see it's like literally a stick. So I'll just rub that on. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Yes. Um, now, as you can see, I look insane. And also my skin, um, you can see my neck is like a totally different color than my face. So I use kind of a darker shade of foundation. So I just blend that all in. Um, and then I feel like my skin looks more luminous and fabulous, covers like all the little imperfections. Um, and I'll just put a little on my neck too, just to blend it in. Cause you don't want that like line that looks gnarly. Throw back to middle school when we all had that. Um, so yeah, ta-da. All right, so next I'll do my concealer. This is Tarte Concealer. Um, again, I will just squirt a little on my finger and then put it where I think it's like supposed to replicate light or something. I don't even know. Like I, I'm not a professional. So I'll put it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose and a little bit here and here and here. I, like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is just what I do, you guys. So then again, that kind of like wakes you up. At least I feel like it wakes me up because despite the fact that I get plenty of sleep, um, I just always look tired. <laughs> so ta-da, boom. All right, so this is my favorite part of doing makeup. I do contour my face every day because it takes literally one second and you look awesome, so why not? Um, so again, I'll use the Makeup Forever HD stick. Um, this is color 180. It's literally the darkest color that it comes in. As you can see, it's not even close to my skin tone. Um, so that is what I use to contour. So I will just put that in the areas um, that I've seen other YouTubers put it. So ta-da, here we go. Put on my cheeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. On my forehead, on the bridge of my nose. This is like an instant nose job, by the way. All right, so there we go, you guys. I'm done. That was my routine. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so now all you have to do is blend it in. I'll use like one of these little brushes um, and just kind of swirl it all around because, I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. So just until it looks blended. So then the lines don't look as like intense and crazy, obviously. Um, just blend it in until it looks a little more natural. So there you go. As you can see, it kind of gives your skin like almost an ombre effect. Um, I'll like always rub it on my chin a little bit too because like I said, I don't like it to look too not blended. Um, and then you just get your nose. I usually usually use my fingers for this. Um, dun dun. Oh my gosh, I just realized I never painted my nails. Well, oh well. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that later. Um, so just blend that in. Tap, tap, tap with the beauty blender so you can't see as harsh of a line. <laughs> All right, so once that I've blended it all together, um, or at least, you know, sort of blended it together, um, I will take, this is Makeup Forever. Wow, I really like Makeup Forever. I didn't even realize. This is probably my favorite brand. I use it for everything. Um, this is the HD pressed powder. It's just like white powder and a giant brush. Um, it's supposed to like, I don't know. I got it for like filming stuff. It was supposed to like mattify your skin and make um, you look better on camera. Does it work? I don't know. But I will just kind of put it all over my face to kind of just blend it all together so 
there we go oh yes skin looking on fleek <laughs> dun, dun, dun. okay <laughs> back to business all right, so as for eyes, on the daily basis, I really don't do anything to them. I will actually just take the um, brush that I use to put my contour on and put a little bit on my eyelid, um, just the residuals, because it makes your eye look a little darker, but also, like, it's still totally natural. Like, as you can see, just put a little there. You can barely see in this light, but one without, one with. Um, and it just kind of adds, like, what looks like a natural hue to your eyelid. Like, this could totally be my skin tone, but it's not, so... Bam, just do that to both eyes. I don't even know if you guys can see this. I'm sorry, I've never done a makeup tutorial. I don't know how to do this. All right, there we go. Yay! All right, so also my eyes, just to brighten them up a little bit, this is my favorite pencil ever. This is from Wet n Wild. It's 99 cents at CVS. Um, and it's just a nude pencil. And to make my eyes look bigger, I will put that in the waterline. Oh my gosh, this looks so creepy. I look like demonic while I do this. Apologies, guys. Okay, so I don't usually put mascara on my top lashes, obviously, because I have the extensions on and I don't need it. Um, but my favorite um, mascara in the world is L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, uh, $9 CBS. The. <laughs> I try not to swear in my videos, but this literally is the shit, you guys. Um, so I will just put that on my bottom lashes um, because I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger and more open. All right, I couldn't get um, a full clear view of this not doing selfie cam, so here I am, my favorite selfie cam. Um, but as you can see, the bottom mascara killing it on there, um, really brightens and opens up your eyes. And now, oh God, I forgot I need to do my eyebrows. So here we go, eyebrows. I'm known in my Instagrams for having thick, fluffy eyebrows. <laughs> I'm like spitting. <laughs> fluffy eyebrows um so this is how i create that illusion um it's super easy i'll do like an in-depth tutorial about that at some point but i use anastasia dip brow palm mod in ebony and this little pointed angle brush thing and i'll literally just dip it in and start to color on my eyebrows to my liking so i'll just kind of draw in the eyebrow to how i like it to be which is really thick so i definitely overdraw it not sure if this is going to stay focused i apologize i don't really know how to film a makeup tutorial like i said but i'm trying there we go. So after a couple minutes of like filling it in, um, that is how I like my eyebrows to be. So I'll just do the other eyebrow and then continue on. All right. So now that I got my Instagram eyebrows drawn on, I'll just use a gel to keep them in place. Um, I actually don't really like this gel, but this is a Milani Easy Brow Tinted Brow Gel from CBS. L'Oreal has a better one, but they were out of stock at the time that I was getting it. So it's just like a brown gel. Put it on kind of like mascara um, just to hold those puppers in place. I'm so sorry if you guys are like bored out of your minds. Um, I won't do any more makeup videos if you don't ask. Um, this was kind of like a trial video because I don't know, I got so many requests for it and then I was like, I don't really know how to do makeup. But anyways, here we go. Ta-da, okay, so eyebrows done, bada bing, bam, moving along. This is my favorite part of doing my makeup. This is what um, isn't on my Instagrams as like that pew, pow of glowy sunshine awesomeness. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, what is this called? So Hollywood Illuminator. I die for this stuff. It is my favorite. Um, as you can see, mine's like cracked and disgusting because I use it so much, but it doesn't stop me from using it. Um, so I will just put this on my cheeks um, and a lot of it. I'm very heavy handed with this because I like the extra, extra flouncy glow, but you're not really supposed to use that much, but you know what? Who cares about the rules? Um, so I will just tap that on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. I'll also put it on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. Again, this makes your nose look cuter. I'll also put it right here. I don't know why I do that, but it's supposed to make your lips look bigger. I think I read that somewhere. And I'll also put it on the inside of my tear duct and underneath my brow. Oh my god, I love this stuff. And there we go. Now we got that shiny Instagram ho glow. Sorry, I get too excited about this. It's like ridiculous. I could literally put on highlight all day. Like, I'm done. But you know what? More! <laughs> more, more, more. If I would just like be one giant shiny cupcake if I had my way. But all right, anyways. um, Let's see. What do I do next? All right, now I usually don't put on blush, but if I do, um, I will for purposes of today. But this is NARS Orgasm. It is my fi <laughs> I know, right, at the name. I'd wink if I could wink properly, but I can't. So anyways, um, I'll just tap that on really lightly. It's kind of like an iridescent shade, but it's really pretty. So I'll just put that on a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. Fabulous, okay. 
All right, next is I'm obsessed with my lips. I literally love drawing them on and making them look huge and full, like pouty Instagram style. Um, this is so embarrassing, actually. Literally, I wasn't planning on filming this video today, um, and I just like woke up and decided to do it. So I didn't like update any of my products or clean them or get new ones of things that are literally nubs. But as you can see, everything is well, well loved in my household. So this is NYX Lip Liner in Mauve. Die, love it. I always just put this all over my lips. It's a great nude shade. Um, it's hard to do this without a mirror, but you get the gist. I'll literally just color it all on. I also like to throw on a gloss. This is like some plumping lip gloss from Sephora. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. Now that I've got everything all done, Urban Decay Setting Spray. This will change your life. This will make your makeup stay on all day long. Um, I used to be like, this is a hoax. What's really in there? Cause like the main ingredient is water. Um, but I ran out of it one time and didn't wear it for like three days. And I swear to you, my face felt like it was melting off. So this is the balm. I will just spray three sprays. And we are done. <laughs> There you have it, you guys. That is how I do my everyday makeup. Um, it's nothing too special. Like I said, I'm not a professional at all. I learned myself off of YouTube. Um, um, obviously, I do like a lot more glam looks on Insta and stuff too. But for my everyday today life, this is it. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Um, again, sorry, I'm not a professional, but you asked, so there we go. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, hit me up in the comment section below. And yo, um, not only did I hit 5,000, I just hit almost 7,000 subscribers yesterday. So holla, you guys. Um, we're just going to keep you updated on the countdown because when I hit 10K, I'm going to do something really funny for you. So um, until next time, you guys, I will see you all soon. As always, any questions, all my socials at Amber Scholl, And I love you very much. Stay fabulous. Stay beautiful. And of course, all my love. XO. <laughs>